In this training module, we will go over getting started with our unique positioning solution, Arrow Points. You'll learn how to set up and activate your Arrow Points, download and use the mobile app, best practices and pro tips for successful data capture, upload data and care for and store your Arrow Points. Welcome to Propeller U. Aeropoints make accurate site measurements easy. Gone are the days of hauling heavy positioning equipment to a site, including the hours spent in the harsh weather while manually collecting location information. This technology allows the user to automate ground control with a lightweight, efficient, one-button operation. Inside an Aeropoint is a GPS positioning device that locates its exact location on your job site. The combination of a solar panel, rechargeable battery, and Wi-Fi capabilities creates a fully wireless product. Aeropoints also feature a water-resistant foam design with contrasting colors to make them easy to see in aerial photos. When processing Aeropoint data, we combine the position information with aerial photographs captured during your drone survey to create a model that aligns closely with the reality on your job site. First up, let's activate your Aeropoints and get them working. Aeropoints require activation and account creation online before your first survey. We include an activation code in your box of Aeropoints. To activate Aeropoints on an existing portal, you need to be either the portal owner or an administrator. If you are a new customer and do not already have a portal set up, then visit our website to begin the activation process. Once activated, you have access to the Aeropoints dashboard. Here, you'll find information about your Aeropoints, including details about battery health and the last connected date. Below is a list of your previously uploaded surveys. Click on a survey to reveal specific metrics about data collection. You will also use the dashboard to invite other users on your team to access your uploaded Aeropoint data. Remember, portal permissions are separate from the Aeropoints dashboard. Next, download the Aeropoints app for your mobile device from either the App Store for iOS devices or the Google Play Store for Android devices. The Aeropoints app provides useful diagnostic information, including battery life, a visualization of collected data, and satellite coverage. Visit our knowledge base and search for Aeropoints to learn more about the Aeropoints app. Let's connect your Aeropoint to your mobile device. We recommend connecting your Aeropoint to the app in the office for a couple of reasons. First, to familiarize yourself with its features prior to heading out to your worksite. And second, to ensure that your Aeropoint is connected should there be poor cellular coverage on site. Make sure your Aeropoint is charged and powered on and that Bluetooth is turned on for your mobile device. If you are using an iOS device, open the Settings app and make sure Bluetooth is toggled on. Open the Aeropoints app and it will automatically search for nearby Aeropoints. Each Aeropoint will appear as a card on the main list. If you're unable to connect to an Aeropoint, tap the Search Again button to try again. If you still cannot see your Aeropoint within the app, please confirm it has not already connected to another device. Aeropoints can only connect to one Bluetooth device at a time. The Aeropoints app will also give you guidance on proper placement when laying Aeropoints out on site. We'll talk more about that later in this video. Next, let's go over how to get started using your Aeropoints, including some best practices and pro tips. Plug in your Aeropoints using the included charger. Aeropoints can fully charge in as little as five hours. You can see the battery level from either your Aeropoints dashboard or in the mobile app. Before you conduct an Aeropoints survey, it's important to determine how you will process your data later on. For example, if you are processing your survey using a known point method, then this requires placing your first Aeropoint on a marked location or benchmark with known coordinates. If you are taking advantage of our fully automated processing using the Propeller Corrections Network, then you can place your Aeropoints anywhere on site with a clear view of the sky. 
Check out our coverage map linked in the supporting documents associated with this video to verify if the Propeller Corrections Network covers your site. To learn more about the different processing methods available for AeroPoints, watch Data Capture Methods in Propeller U, or check out our Knowledge Base article, Different Ways to Process AeroPoints Surveys. Proper placement of AeroPoints on your job site ensures accurate survey measurements. For the best results, place an AeroPoint near each corner of the site and distribute the rest around the center, aiming to cover both high and low elevations. If you only have one or two arrow points, then distribute them as best you can across your site, ensuring they are no more than three quarters of a mile, or about 1.2 kilometers, apart from each other. Each arrow point should have an unobstructed view of the sky in every direction above a 15 degree angle. Keep in mind that you should place arrow points where people, animals, or vehicles cannot disturb them. Avoid placing them beneath, next to, or on top of trees, walls, buildings, power lines, or running machinery or site vehicles. After laying down and powering on each arrow point, check the GNSS signal quality in the arrow points app. If the GNSS quality is poor, it will prompt you to fix the problem right away by moving the arrow point. This saves your time and helps to avoid the frustration of poor data quality. Tap the error message in the app to see a live compass with information about obstructions in your area that would affect your survey. To find a better location, simply pick up your arrow point and use the compass in the app to guide you. Once you've found an unobstructed location, lay your arrow point down and press the power button on your arrow point to stop the current data capture. Then press it again to start a new capture. Confirm it's logging again by checking that the logging light is on and that the capture timer has started in the app. The logging light will turn on and stay solid during logging mode. To learn more about how to check the GNSS signal quality using the Skyplot feature in the AeroPoints app, check out our knowledge base, help.propellerarrow.com. Now you're ready to fly. During your flight, leave each AeroPoint in place to record for the minimum required time. To maximize the capture time, we recommend carrying out your pre-flight drone checks and safety routines after you lay out arrow points, and then packing up your drone before collecting them. It's important to note that arrow points will automatically enter sleep mode after a certain amount of time, at which point they are no longer collecting data. After completing your drone survey, press the power button on each arrow point to finish the recording before you pick them up. Always collect arrow points in the reverse order of how you laid them out. Now that you have survey data stored in your arrow point, you will need to upload this information to your arrow points dashboard. First, you will need to enable a mobile hotspot. Arrow points work with most mobile hotspots, including iOS and Android. The hotspot must use the 2.4 GHz network band, so make sure that maximize or extend compatibility is turned on in the hotspot settings. Visit our knowledge base to learn more about the different hotspots that can upload AeroPoint data. Next, press the button on your AeroPoint to stop the recording. It will automatically enter Wi-Fi search mode. If the lights are off on the AeroPoint, it has entered sleep mode. To get back to Wi-Fi search mode when it's asleep, you'll want to press the button twice, once to turn it on, and a second time to enter search mode. The network light will blink, showing that it is searching for a Wi-Fi hotspot. Once it finds a network, the light turns solid while it's uploading data. Depending on your internet connection, uploading each hour of recorded arrow point data takes approximately one minute. When uploading is complete, the arrow point will enter sleep mode and its lights will turn off. You can verify that data uploaded successfully by either checking the arrow points app during the upload process or by verifying that the survey now appears on your arrow points dashboard. Propeller automatically groups data together from nearby arrow points into the same arrow point survey on your dashboard. Now that you have successfully activated, set up, and collected survey data, let's talk about caring for your arrow point. The key to long-term success with arrow points is taking care of them between data collections. It's important to remember that arrow points are water resistant, not waterproof. They cannot withstand exposure to heavy rains or being submerged. They can stand up to mud or dust from the job site, but be sure to clean arrow points with a damp cloth after your flight. Pay close attention to the solar panel and charging port to ensure no debris blocks its functionality. 
store arrow points with the undersides together to protect the solar panel from damage. Keep arrow points healthy by charging them to full regularly after use and before long-term storage. For long-term storage, charge your arrow point at least once per month to maintain the battery. Arrow points make data collection easy. If you need help, click on the support tab on the top right-hand corner of the portal. Here, you'll find answers to our most frequently asked questions, or you'll be able to connect with someone who can help. To get the most out of your arrow points, it's important to keep them maintained and place them properly on your site. Use the tips from this video to become an arrow points pro in no time. In this training module, we went over how to use arrow points successfully, including how to set up and activate your arrow points, download and use the mobile app, successfully capture and upload data, and care for and store your arrow points. Thanks for watching. For more information, you can check out the supporting documentation associated with this module or visit our knowledge base, help.propellerarrow.com.